Well, Andrew, if I'm not mistaken, this is a good time of year to start fishing. It is, Willie. It's always good to get out there on the water, but there's just something special about going fishing on opening day of Maryland's trophy rock season. Got everything to fish. Captain Curtis Johns and mate Chris Collins are ready to head out of the small boat harbor in Crisfield, Maryland. It's the day anglers have been looking forward to for months, the day they hope to finally be able to haul a big dog out of the Chesapeake Bay. The day that pretty much says winter is gone and fishing season is here. It's the opening day of Maryland's spring trophy rock season. 14 anglers filled the Karen Ray 2 this morning, but fishing reports have not been great. So far, not yet, but uh, you know, we're hoping that they're going to be coming down soon. Hopefully this morning with 14 people on the boat. <laughs> but despite the reports, you can't not go out on opening day. A brisk morning fishing trip on the Chesapeake Bay in mid-April and the possibility of reeling in one of the most prized and sought after fish in the region is all it takes to get many of us on the boat before the sun comes up. The Karen Ray 2 is going to fish Tangier Sound and watching the crew miraculously manage getting 20 plus lines in the water is quite the sight and Chris and Curtis have mastered the art. That's 350 right there. Captain Curtis is going to troll through some bait that he has found, but there's nothing that says the rockfish are here. Fishing's good, but the catching's off a little. <laughs> no, everything looks good. See a little bit of bait. I'm not seeing as much as I'd like to see. It could be, you know, things are a little bit late. The water temperature's a little cooler. It's usually a little warmer than that. Yeah. So I'm thinking that maybe they're still getting up there, spawning it, or waiting to spawn. You know, they haven't really started coming out like they like they normally do. Hopefully, we'll get one or two here. There you go. We did it. Then we hear the sweet singing of the reel as a big rockfish grabs hold. The moment everyone has been waiting for is here, and Debbie Lizier of Durwood, Maryland is up first. It's a 45-incher, and everyone is happy to see the first fish, especially the captain. Yeah, definitely got the skunk out. <laughs> if we do that 12 more times, it'll be even better. <laughs> and not long after that, Larry Staten of Frederick, Maryland is hauling one in. Hey, right away. Just like a crash follows the sugar rush, the same can be said about fishing, which has come to a screeching halt. Not been a whole lot, Andrew. It, it's slow. But we do have two 40-some inch fish in the box, so yeah. that's certainly better than a skunk. Since time is running out before the Karen Ray 2 has to head in for her afternoon trip, some of the lines are retired for the morning. But then, what do you know, there's a fish on. Before too much celebrating and admiring can take place, another rod goes down. Jimmy Cropper from Severna Park is up, and the consensus seems to be that this is a big one. Yeah, when I took that out of the holder, you could feel the, the weight of it. Yeah, I think this could be the biggest one yet. It is. <laughs> this is a big <laughs> like you're doing perfect. You ease him up without slipping the drag, then wind down to it. Wind way down to it. <laughs> that white feather, you can start counting out. There's only nine more of them. <laughs> and as the fish finally gets close, we realize it's not alone. No, it is two. You got, got two. There are two trophy rockfish on the line. Lucky for Jimmy, his friend Tyler's on board and will gladly take one of those fish. Straight up, guys. Straight up. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
that was one fish that would have been a little ridiculous yeah i figured it was really really fighting i guess they're just taking turns going back and forth hey, that ended with a bang anyway didn't it? although the limit was not met this morning the anglers on board the karen ray 2 are not going home unhappy the line that best sums up opening day of the 2016 spring trophy rock season definitely ends with an exclamation point.